Hey guys, I'm back with another candle review. This time around it's for the 18 ounce three wick lotus flower candle from Homeworks by Harry Slacken. This is actually the version from 2018 that came in the special edition duo along with Lavender Vanilla. But uh, as you may or may not know, it's available again on QVC in an updated fo photo label packaging. And so I figured I might as well review this since I have it and I've actually kind of been burning it this uh, season and maybe it'll be useful for anyone who was interested in the newer Lotus Flower. They pretty much have the same notes on it, and thankfully Homeworks doesn't do the deceptive repackaging thing very often, like Bath & Body Works does. So like, if it came back as Lotus Flower, we can assume that it's the same Lotus Flower from before, and then at least they don't put a new deceptive name on it of a existing previous fragrance, so we're good to go there. So yes, the notes on my version say bamboo, lotus flower, hyacinth, and sandalwood. Of course, this is the original made in the USA three wick version, uh, but the new four wick version on QVC says a blend of lotus, bamboo, hyacinth, and water lily. So pretty much the same type of fragrance, but in any case, what does it smell like? This smells just like fresh bamboo from Bath & Body Works, which was a original Slatkin & Co scent from a long time ago. So. If you like fresh bamboo and you missed out on it and you want a homeworks version of it, this is the route that you should take. It's like probably 90 to 95% the same as fresh bamboo, which is also very similar to the Scentworks Bamboo Waters fragrance, but I believe that's the body care version and there's a bamboo leaves in the Scentworks uh, home fragrance as a candle. Uh, also very similar to the bamboo fragrance from Nest. So it's that typical bamboo, very like lush, green, dewy, floral, type of fragrance is what this is. So yes, if you've never smelled fresh bamboo or lotus flower or bamboo or bamboo waters or any of those variations before, uh, it has a very much like a spa-like element to it, but a very green spa-like element to it. So it has a very like grassy, green quality to it. It could be like a slightly grassy type of fragrance. Uh, yeah, like if it had some variation of like a grass name to it, I would believe that too. There's definitely a green grassy component to it, uh, which I guess is what the bamboo is. And then it's mixed with a uh, quite a bit of an equal part of a very dewy spring floral. I think of like the bulb type of spring florals that I often say are like kind of uriny, but it has that very like dewy, uh, fresh spring bulb type of floral to it which is definitely coming from the hyacinth. So I totally get the hyacinth note in there as well. Um, and then you mix it together and it's just like this very fresh, green, grassy, outdoorsy, floral, uh, spa-like fragrance. And that's what it smells like. If you smell any of those type of bamboo fragrances, then you totally know what I'm talking about. This is exactly what that smells like. I would say the main difference between this and the Bath & Body Works Fresh Bamboo counterpart is that this one has a slight, almost like a... a a smoothness or a creaminess to it that takes sort of the rough, harsh edges off of fresh bamboo. If you've ever burned fresh bamboo from Bath & Body Works, you know that it's a massive powerhouse and it's very strong, sometimes even headache inducing. I think Lotus Flower takes the edge off of that sort of headache inducing component of fresh bamboo and it gives it a slight more like a me mellow, subtle, smooth, creamy vibe to it that makes it a little bit more tolerable and less in your face. But if you love the strength and throw and just the intensity of Fresh Bamboo from Bath & Body Works, this one's definitely not as strong and intense as uh, the Fresh Bamboo from Bath & Body Works. So if you want the stronger version, I would, I guess, hold out for the Bath & Body Works version, which I think is actually coming out later this season uh, as Fresh Bamboo. So you might want to wait for that. But if you find that to be a little too strong or too hard, or if you just prefer the homeworks packaging, what have you, then go with the Lotus Flower. It's pretty much the same fragrance, but just a lot more mellow, a little bit smoother, and just a little less harsh. So that's pretty much what Lotus Flower slash Fresh Bamboo smells like. Let me go into the performance. Of course, this is the 2018 three wick made in the USA version. So your performance could vary on the latest four wick made in Vietnam version. Uh, but just wanted to sort of review it on the actual fragrance itself. So you could at least get an idea of what it smelled like. Uh, but the version on this one, of course, it's doing great. <laughs> I've uh, finished one before, I think completely down to the bottom. I think even my mother finished one. It was totally good down to the bottom too. Um, just flawless burn. These three wicks were just excellent. It just, you know, it, it pulled side to side. It took a little bit longer than the usual uh, four wick ones that we get now, uh, but still pulled adequately. It didn't have any hang up on it. It didn't suck excessively. The wicks didn't like curl in on you or like, you know, you didn't lose a wick or it didn't like lean in or drown in on you. Nothing like that. It was just great, like three sturdy wicks and it just pulled out no problem. So the performance on that was great. The throw, uh, yeah, the fragrance is definitely lighter than fresh bamboo. I would put it in the 
four to five range. Um, you can smell it definitely medium in a bedroom, but um, I've had this in multiple different houses at this point now. Um, and in an open concept area, it's definitely way less noticeable than fresh bamboo is uh, from Bath and Body Works. I would say like maybe just like in a four area, sometimes even down to a three, sometimes it would get a little bit lost and have to go sniffing for it. So anywhere from a three to a four in a open concept, large living, living room area, and then maybe up to a five in in a bedroom so definitely just a like light to medium uh so yeah i don't i, I de definitely wouldn't need to like repurchase this if i was looking for a strong version of it i would probably still hold off for the bath and body works fresh bamboo counterpart but that's just how this performed and that's that Overall, if you're just jonesing for fresh bamboo but want a homeworks version of it, then definitely check out Lotus Flower. Uh, if not, hold out for the BBW version. It's usually pretty stronger, and you're probably going to get a little bit cheaper and in-store as well. Uh, so just take your pick on that. But hopefully this was uh, useful to you. And uh, let me know if you've burned this candle yourself, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.